Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the Los Angeles Dodgers versus Atlanta Braves series preview. Of course, the Dodgers, even after winning all those games, have to start down in Atlanta because they happen to be the wild card team because the team they just beat in the first round, them San Francisco Giants, of course, were the division winner. So I hope you all have enjoyed the recent content. If you have, please subscribe down below now or on the easy-to-use widget at the end of the video. Corey Knebel is going to go for the Dodgers tonight. They're going to use the opening strategy again, where the Braves are actually going to implement a starter and use the absolutely nasty Max Freed. <laughs> Max Freed, um, not Max. Na absolutely nasty Max Freed and have him pitch for them, who's one of the best lefties in all of baseball right now. So obviously when it comes to the starting pitcher repertoire, you would give the nod to them, but you can't do by a landslide because Corey Knebel did his job. He did what he had to do against the Giants when he opened. So if he can open as successfully as that, then it's going to be what happens when the Dodgers go to their couple of different pitchers and put in different starters out of the pen. Because then in game two, they are using the guy that is arguably still, even at his age, the best pitcher in baseball in Max Scherzer, who turned on the Jets when he was on the Dodgers. And the Braves are going to Ian Anderson, who, of course, is having a nice playoffs himself. But he ain't Max Scherzer, and Max Scherzer is just a different breed. So I think this series is obviously going to depend on, realistically, if the Braves want to win this series, honestly, I think their best chance is to take both at home, and then the Dodgers are going to have to answer with both in L.A., and then it'll be back and forth, and then you have to see what happens if it does decide to go to seven that way. But I think that's really the Braves' best, and honestly, in my opinion, only chance to win this series because I said it in a page video, whoever won that other series between the Dodgers and Giants, I think is going to be the NL representative in the World Series. It's not that the Braves aren't a good enough team to compete with them. It's just, I don't think they're going to beat the Dodgers whatsoever out there in Los Angeles. And I don't think they're going to beat them in both at home. And I think that's going to really hurt them. That's why the reason, because it starts in Atlanta, I say it has a good chance to go six games. I would have gave this about five games um, if it started in L.A., but since it is starting in Atlanta, they have the home field advantage. If they're able to take advantage of that, then I would say this series is going to go six games, but it will still go to the L.A. Dodgers because they just have, in every aspect of their team, firepower. They have a good bullpen. They're starting one of their better bullpen guys tonight as a opener, but they have a very good bullpen, a very good lineup, good defensive team, obviously, and also... They are a very good managed team as well, just like the Atlanta Braves. But I think the Braves are going to come to meet their maker here. This is going to be the team that they're not going to be able to find the matchups against, the matchups to beat, because the Dodgers have an answer to anything. Their pitch hit Matt Beatty if you put in a certain ready. Their pinch hit if he doesn't start um, somebody like a uh, Pollock, or their pinch hit obviously somebody like a pool hose on their team or whatever. Like They have all these guys that they can just go to and turn to on their team if they need them in this series. And that's why I believe it is going to go to the Dodgers because the Dodgers just have a deeper team to dip into when it comes to anything, whether it comes to bullpen, whether it comes to pitching, no matter what. If you go to the Dodgers, you can dip into Pujols, you can dip into one of the Turners if both of them don't start. You obviously also have Steve Souza, who the reason he stays on a team is because he's a one-pitch home run potential hitter, not the same guy he used to be, but he's a guy that can pinch hit and hit one out of the park, where they have one of the best catchers in baseball now. In Will Smith, Travis Dayarno is nice, but Will Smith catches a good game and is one of the best hitting catchers in baseball now as well. So this Dodgers team is just too overfueled and has too much jet power, I believe for the Atlanta Braves, but the Atlanta Braves are going to compete with them, and because it's starting at home, that's the reason why I will give it six games. If you look at their lineup tonight, I will go over that for the first game before um, we end this video. It's Eddie Rosario batting first in left field, Freddie Freeman um, playing second, or playing first, excuse me, batting second, Ozzy Albies batting third at second, fourth hitter is Austin Riley, who obviously should get some MVP consideration, he's at third. They're going to put Jock Peterson in because of Corey Knebel opening. That's smart. He's in right field. Adam Duvall playing center field at sixth spot in the order. Travis Day Arno at the seventh spot in the order. Dansby Swans at the eighth spot in the order at short. And then, of course, the pitcher Max 
Breed is going to be batting ninth. And then when it comes to being for the Dodgers, the Dodgers are going to have... The Dodgers are going to have, according to this, Mookie Betts leading off in right field. They're going to have Trey Turner batting second at second. Corey Seager at shortstop batting third. Justin Turner batting fourth at third. Will Smith fifth. Albert Pujols, the aforementioned, getting the start. Nice to see that. See if he can jump on a Max Fried fastball. Playing first base, A.J. Pollock. That's two lefty killers right there. Back to back for Fried to face. Three, actually. A.J. Pollock playing left field. And then you got Chris Taylor playing center field. And then you, of course, got the pitcher, Cordy Knebel. We'll see if he even gets a chance to hit once in this game. Probably unlikely. But that is the Dodgers lineup, and that is the Braves lineup. I definitely think this series is going to go to the Dodgers. The Braves' best chance is to take both of them at home. I think that's really their only chance to win this series. Otherwise, I do think it is going to be the Dodgers in six because I don't see the Braves doing the aforementioned and taking the first two games at home. I see the Dodgers winning at least one of these two games, especially because Mad Max Scherzer is on the mound tomorrow if they ain't able to take it tonight because they're facing one of the nastiest guys on the other side when it comes to Max Freed. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content. And good luck this series to Dodgers fans and Braves fans. Subscribe above as well on the easy-to-use widget if that makes it easier for you. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.